Why do we need an HIV vaccine? We need an HIV vaccine because although many of the non-vaccine prevention modalities are working relatively well, the idea of having a durable end to the AIDS pandemic will almost certainly depend upon a safe and effective vaccine. Uh, although this is an entirely preventable infection, just the realities of life and circumstances that people are in make it very, very difficult to have a complete turning off of new infections or to the point where you could have a major impact on the trajectory of the epidemic, the pandemic, since it's a worldwide issue. Uh, to have that in the absence of a vaccine and to sustain that in the absence of a vaccine would be extremely difficult. What are the two main approaches to HIV vaccine development? The two that are being very actively pursued in human studies. There's a lot of different approaches that are still going on in animal studies. The one is what we call the empiric approach. In other words, take a product that resembles the infection, give it to an individual, even though you don't know what the correlates of protection might be, hoping that you could empirically induce a reasonable response. And then if you get any degree of protection, then try and build upon and improve that. An example of that is the now well-known RV144 trial that was done in 16,000 participants in Thailand, which resulted in a very modest degree of efficacy to the tune of 31%. What's going on right now is a series of studies to try and capitalize on that and to improve it, getting it to be a better breath, uh, a better power, a better duration. And that's being done with using different vectors, different regimens, adjuvants or not adjuvants. So that's one approach. We refer to that as the empiric approach. The theoretical approach is to say, I'm assuming that you're going to need broadly neutralizing antibodies even though the body doesn't make broadly neutralizing antibodies very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to design a vaccine immunogen to see if it can induce what I assume is going to be the protective component of a vaccine. And there's a lot of very elegant work going on right now in trying to figure out what the correct conformation of the envelope immunogen is to present to the body in a vaccine. Why is the launch of HVTN702 an exciting moment? HVTN702 is the continuation of the RV144 concept uh, that was shown in Thailand to be modestly effective doing it now in a different environment in southern Africa where the infection rate is much higher than in the original study and tweaking the protocol a bit to try and enhance the response that we got with RV144. So to now proceed into a large efficacy trial in southern Africa is going to, one, hopefully confirm the results of RV144 and do better. I mean, that's the critical issue. We want to confirm it, but we want to do better. We want to get better than 31%. We want to get to the point of 50-60% efficacy. Hopefully we'll get there, but we won't know until we see the results of the trial.